is uh, Corey Jansen, otherwise known as Mr. Dragonbeard. Uh, I am an atheist because I believe in truth and reason, and not ignorance and cruelty. Clergy of all stripes in Kenya have successfully hounded the government to repeal a recently passed law that would have increased the government's already surprising involvement in the affairs of religious institutions. In addition to existing rules that require these establishments to register with the authorities, the new law would have required detailed information about the leadership of religious societies, as well as the names of all members of their congregations. Although such provisions could be considered draconian, they were not thought to be particularly onerous. Rather, the cry of persecution rang out over the clause requiring preachers to obtain a theological degree from a reputable seminary and another that would use TV broadcast rules to regulate donation requests by televangelists. Kenyan officials tried to defend the law, referring to the prophet Victor Kenyari, who will pray or perform a miracle for you for the low, low price of $3, which you can easily send via your phone. But Kenyan religious leaders would have none of it. Bishop Mark Kuruki, chairman of the Evangelical Alliance of Kenya, apparently in defense of allowing uneducated evangelists to roam the streets, said, there are some who are called and yet do not have the benefit of formal education. Overwhelmed by the government's vicious persecution of religion, Kairuki added, We will not take it anymore. Several Egyptian teenagers and their school teacher have received prison sentences for 30 seconds of irreverent horseplay while on a field trip in mid-2015. While the teacher recorded their antics with his phone, one boy pretended to be praying while another stood behind him and made a throat-slitting gesture. The others stood around laughing, and the scene concluded with an exchange of congratulatory handshaking. For this atrocity, the group has been charged with contempt of Islam. Three of the boys have been sentenced to the maximum five years in prison. One of the boys, having been only 15 years old at the time, has been referred to a juvenile detention facility. The teacher, whose sole participation was to record the scene, has received a three-year prison sentence. As it turns out, all the guilty are Christians. This has led Christian observers to intone persecution, but others point out that Muslims have also been imprisoned under the same law. An unlikely coalition of human rights groups, Egyptian parliament members, and even some Egyptian political parties have called for the sentence to be overturned, the charges to be dropped, and the laws that suppress freedom of expression to be abolished. The four boys currently remain in hiding as their attorney seeks to appeal the ruling. During a recent press conference, TMZ Sports asked UFC featherweight champion Conor McGregor who would win in a fight between him and Jesus. McGregor, who is known for his colorful language and cavalier attitude, responded, There's not a man alive that can beat me, but Jesus ain't alive, is he? So I don't, expletive, no, maybe he can come back from the dead. I'd still whoop his ass. In another press conference, McGregor noted that he and God were cool because he noted, Gods recognize gods. The comments did not sit well with at least one member of the clergy. Fort Worth, Texas pastor Donnie Romero of the Steadfast Baptist Church went on a rant from the pulpit during which he called McGregor a nothing, saying, I'm going to pray that God strikes him down with a lightning bolt. He wouldn't do that to another god. This may seem like an unfair technique, unfair fighting technique. This may seem like an unfair fighting technique, but Romero had good reasons for wanting God to murder a popular UFC fighter with a sense of humor. Romero explained his bloodlust, saying, So everybody in the world that believes in the Bible, even a little bit, knows that it was God, it was Jesus, who struck him down. <laughs> Allahumma <laughs> 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 